Hi, Caleb and Steve with Brownells here, back with another edition of Smith Busters. And today we're taking a look at the myth that a longer barrel is always more accurate. What do you think about that, Steve? Not always. A longer barrel can certainly help accuracy in some cases, but I've seen some short barrel guns that shot extremely well, like bench rest accuracy. But it depends on a lot of things. For example, if you're shooting open sights, longer barrel's going to be easier to sight down, less sight error, better accuracy. Also, you don't want to shoot something like a uh, 264 Winchester Magnum out of a 18-inch barrel or a 16-inch barrel. It's going to be a lot of unburned powder. You're going to have deviation all over the place in your loads. You're probably not going to get good accuracy. But on the other hand, if you're shooting a 22 long rifle, anything over 12 inches is wasted as far as powder burning. So all you got to do is meet the minimum length. But you can have a longer barrel, but it won't make the gun any more accurate. So the key here is that you want to have enough barrel to get your full powder burn, in most cases. Yeah. And then you want to have a long enough barrel to stabilize that bullet with your twist rate. True. Now, if you're doing high velocity stuff, that can come into play also. Mm -hmm. Your twist rate and the amount of barrel to spin it with, because that if that projectile's not stable, it doesn't matter whose bullets you buy, it's not going to fly right. Yeah. And, you know, the reason this myth kind of came up as well is because we'll get like a lot of hunters that come into a gunsmith shop I was working at and they would want their rifles rebarreled into these ridiculously long barrels mm -hmm. and something like a 270 Winchester <laughs> and it, they, it, there was no benefit to it because right. they're 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 stuck on the idea that uh, another part of this is that velocity equals accuracy which just simply mm -hmm. isn't true as well. So we can actually loop these or uh, smash these two myths together. Sure. So and you'll find exceptions to that. Right. There you are. Know, if you've got a marginally stable bullet, you know the tw twist rate isn't quite as fast as optimum. If you drive it faster, it spins faster, and a lot of times it'll settle down that way. And right. Shoot a little better, but most of the time, no. Yeah. So just I mean, especially with reloading and stuff like that, just pushing everything to the max isn't going to give you the best accuracy. No, you'll hit that sweet spot, and then when you go beyond that, your groups will start to open up again. Yep, see that all the time. Even in handguns. Yeah, same and thing. it seems to be an issue with a lot of new reloaders. They think, you know, I'm, I'm going to push everything to the max. That's yep. going to give me the most velocity, most accuracy. Yeah, velocity is going to give you a flatter trajectory in most cases. Yep. But it's not going to make your group smaller. Right, and that extra velocity makes it easier to judge a long distance shot and, you know, allow for bullet drop. Exactly. Time of flight shrinks down, so the wind doesn't affect it quite as much. Yep. But and there's a lot of factors that go into both of these, so you can't say always. Right. But mechanically, as far as getting the bullet out on its trajectory, a short barrel, long barrel will do pretty much the same job. There's no benefit to a longer barrel unless you have to burn more powder or spin something faster or, I don't know, see open sights. Exactly. Especially at my age. <laughs> exactly. So I would consider this myth busted simply because the word always is there. And right. that's what we hear a lot. People right. say the always. So, uh, yeah, Smith or myth busted. Right. And bear in mind, I've put longer barrels on guns because they needed longer barrels. Right. I've done that as to well. To make them shoot well. Yep. But uh, the shorter the barrel you can get away with, the better, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Agreed. Agreed. So if you have any myths, firearm related or reloading related just basically shooting related in general that you'd like to see busted let us know we'll take it on until then we'll catch you next time on another edition of smith busters